They go in to Sydney. Come on! Hey, today I wanted to make a video about how we're preparing for our plane ride next week. It's the twins' first time uh, going to Sydney and it'll be our family's first time on a low-cost carrier airline. First of all, the kids are going to take their own little trunkies again. Trunkies are these super, super cute suitcases um, for kids. The beauty of these little things is that there's a long strap that you can use to pull them through the airport when they get tired. It's also a ride-on toy with little wheels so they can scoot around. It's pretty cute. Funny story. So the first time we went overseas, Clay and I traveled separately. He took Emerson uh, the day after Pearl and I went. It was a complete success with Pearl. Pulled her through immigration. It totally lived up to all the marketing hype. Clayton didn't remember that the trunky was designed so that parents can, you know, pull the kid around. It, the whole thing is supposed to make life easier. When I saw him, he was like, I had to carry our son and also carry that stupid suitcase. And I was like, dude, you know, you can just, you can just pull him through. That's the whole point. And Clay was like, you didn't tell me that. But I totally told him that. What was I saying? Trunkies. Definitely on our list. Kids get sore ears on flights. If you've ever been on a flight with kids, you probably hear them screaming when um, the plane takes off and when it lands. Uh, so these were recommended to me. They look like little silicon screws, but I don't even know why I have three packets. Oh, these are the adult ones. Okay, and these are the, the kids ones. And here it says they are Australia travel safe. I'm not sure what that means. Airplanes. Oh, I've got a text from Clayton. Cool. So you've all probably heard bring kids little toys, little treats on the plane and wrap them up in wrapping paper and you know give them one an hour. Time passes, it's really fun. It's like Christmas, kids love unwrapping things. I totally agree, kids love unwrapping things. But what we found uh, on a long flight, nine hour flight, nine gifts, two kids, <clears throat> that's a lot of wrapping paper. And the flight attendants get a bit picked with all the rubbish. It gets in the aisles. Can get a little bit crazy. I would probably skip the wrapping. These are some of the things that we will be taking on board. Okay, I just went to those those funny cheap Japanese shops and got these little toilet uh, slime putty, whoopee putty things. They were two dollars eighty each. Pearl especially is obsessed with them. She thinks it's incredible. Um, and also just these little toys we got from the supermarket. They were on sale. I'm usually loath to spend money on these little pieces of, I think they serve a purpose in this context. So this is a $3 little Barbie doll. And this is a Wolverine car. Kids like to draw. So I'm bringing along these pens, sort of fun for a few seconds. They look like Lego. We got this little Peppa Pig, this is Daddy Pig notebook from a, a birthday party two years ago. Uh, and I kept it. This was from this was from the Japanese place as well because it's Japanese It's it's that like backwards book As for other little bits and pieces. So we've got this Cinderella 3d sticker book. This could probably give you a couple of minutes <laughs> And if you you get involved you might even be able to stretch this activity out 10 minutes on the plane my only, my only qualm is that there's only one pair of these glasses, so it could lead to some fighting. And I really, yeah, I want to avoid that. Activity packs, mazes and stuff. Our kids are at the age where we still need to help them do these things, so it's all part of the job, right? Now, I'm not sure if your kids still have um, little comfort toys, but ours certainly do. Um, meet Orange Cat and dash. These guys are coming along. They're going to Sydney. Food. Okay, we have to bring snacks for our kids. Our kids love these rice crackers. The kids love these. Yan yans. I got these from the Japanese store also. Also need baby wipes because they get a little bit messy. But they do take some time to eat. So that will kill time and that will make me happy. Yan Yan. 
dried mango. That's Pearl's favorite. She'll probably eat the whole packet. This is from the Philippines, which is where my family's from. I don't know what Clayton and I are gonna eat on the plane, but that's not really relevant. For me, make sure I have coffee and that should be fine. Oh, and Pez. Pearl is obsessed with Pez. Pearl actually has a Pez collection. <coughs> devices, bring your devices. Obviously, bring your own phone and don't forget your kids' headphones. And yeah, that's all I've got. If you have any more tips, please leave them in the comments. Let me know if you disagree with the whole thing. Have a good day, see you next time. Whoa, don't do that.